Right, our local Wilco's has now turned into a Christmas shop. I think this tree's a bit too much. This is new for this year outside the uh, teepee. Sun's out, we're out and about, we're off to do a bit of festive thing, festive fun in Beverly. So we're going to go to the uh, the teepee for the first time this year, aren't we? Yep. And then um, Tracy wants to see the Minster, um, but I'm not sure whether it's going to be a little bit too early for all their kind of Christmas decorations yet, but it's definitely something that is worth seeing if ever you come to Beverly, because it's like a, a, lot of, a lot of movies have been filmed there, like the TV series Victoria has been filmed there and some other things. Never watched that, we should watch it. I know we should do, yeah. Um, and it's a nice five degrees so far. It's freezing cold actually. And, and uh, the guys also want a fish butty, don't forget. Yeah. Fish butty, tartar filet, steak strips, seasoned fries, cocoa. Mince pies. Mince pies. Bags and bags of treats. Two lots of puddings. Yeah, two yeah. puddings. Dumplings. And then the rest of Waitrose. <laughs> and oh yeah. We realised that we actually forgot to put the dumplings in the stew last night and we just, we just saw a picture on WhatsApp from Lee's mum who was making it and she's put the dumplings in and we were like, oh my God, it's the best bit. And we're, I'm just devastated that I forgot. Fail. Just in Dunnell Mills, while we're passing, we're just getting some um, samples for the van, for the um, table uh, so, and chairs, the uh, cushions. I quite like that one. So we're gonna get some samples sent. Right, I've ordered the sample. Um, so that one was 10 pound a meter, it's called Heather, but it's actually Mulberry. And it's exactly the same as the one that we saw in Jane Plum the other day. Uh, the one that I'd looked at online was actually 40 pound a meter. So, um, and they said that the lead time of this is quite short. So fingers crossed, it's gonna be the right color. I've ordered the sample, we'll find out how it, whether it matches everything when it turns up. Right, our local Wilco's has now turned into a Christmas shop. <laughs> I was gonna say, it was a massive Wilco's, wasn't it? You got two packets of the day. No, 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 not for Christmas you trees. Smell them. What are they? Smell them and tell me what two they smell like. Two dashes of cinnamon. Well, they'll smell like cinnamon. They smell like um, the gobstoppers that you used to have years ago called fireballs. Oh, yeah, they but you would lick like... a layer off and then yeah. it would go cool and it would get hot again. Can you remember? Yeah. I think this tree's a bit too much. Uh, you won't see that in our lot. It's like it? the Grinch's tree, isn't it? I do like these. Are they like Christmas Eve boxes? Well, we could make them like a Christmas Eve box. They're like gift, well, they're like gift boxes, aren't they? You could put like shortbread and things like that yeah. in them and put it on. Being extremely festive and classy and having a Greg's I, festive bake. I was made to do this. Neil made me do it. He says you need to do this for the vlog. And they've so not even gone in there. festive. They've gone they've sausage, got sausage rolls. rolls. <laughs> so this has got like cranberry turkey stuffing and things like that in it. And she even cut it in half from me as well. Get it in your mush. I want to see it. it. Is it warm? warm? My fingers. Is it yeah, warm? warm? Yeah. One pound ninety-five. Mm. You can't taste the stuffing, but you can taste the cranberry. It's really sweet. Right, we're just in the um, peanut butter shop. Well, it's not a peanut butter peanut shop. Butter it's shop. a way you wear you, your own. They're more. Stuff. They're not as. Um, they look more oily. Yeah, these. I forgot to bring the jar. Well, did, did, Nick did mention it, but we don't itself. This is this is definitely different peanuts. Yeah, they are. They're a lot more greasy. It looks more like peanut butter, this one. Oh, shit. The other one was really, really stodgy, wasn't it? Yeah. Now the jar's free. Is that so it? I want to try it, that's it. And then they just knock it off. Knock the weight of the jar off. Mmm. It's nicer than last time. Is it? It looks, the peanuts look it like It was nice last peanuts. time, but it's even nicer this time. This is new for this year outside the uh, teepee. The Elf Hut, German sausages and loaded fries. Is it open? Oh yeah, they are doing it, yeah. <laughs> do, you to, do you want to try it? Let's have a hot chocolate first. So tender and mild, sleep in heaven. 
uh, we've gone for, even though we said we didn't like the um, <laughs> sickly sweet Starbucks ones, we've yeah, gone for these. Different. This is not sickly coffee, this is like a lot of It's Black Forest um, with a cherry liqueur. We were going to go for Baileys, but they've run out of Baileys. What's it like? I've just got the classic hot chocolate. Oh, have you? Yeah, and there's marshmallows buried underneath Ooh, as well. Oh, yeah. Ding. And lift it up, look. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. So we got loaded fries with cheese frankfurters or cheese brockwurst. Mm -hmm. what, what, what and it's got lingonberry jam, it's got bacon, it's got uh, 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 German sausage on top. What's the uh, cheese sausage taste like? It's not, it's not oozing in cheese. Yeah, I got the cheese one. It's not oozing in cheese, it's just got a cheese flavour. Um, you can't really taste the cheese, but it's nice. Mm, I'm literally foaming at the mouth watching you. The chips are well good. Very satisfying. Is that right? Satisfyingly stuffed. <laughs> I'm entering <laughs> a food thing. coma. I'm <laughs> right in the middle of a food coma. We're very satisfied. Oh, um, they were very nice as loaded so fries. So far, we've been here 20 minutes. We've had a festive bake, a hot chocolate, and loaded fried with sausage. Christmas in it. And you were, and Nick was eating Lindor uh, chocolate balls oh for breakfast. Oh my god! I thought the white ones were nice, but my god, and Cadbury's has gone out the door now because they are just next level delicious. Now we're going to head over to the Minster because these guys have never been in and they want to uh, go in and have a look. We're just in the gift shop and we've just come across these, which I think is amazing. That one just reminds me of an advent when I was a kid. Uh, the, the Christmas cards. Yeah, that one's right. a bit Christmas card. And then there are advent calendars as well. Look at that one. Get that one down. That one. The one with the Santa on. This is, it's always those kind of advent cards that I just used to stare at. It's Polar Express. It's a, an advent it's a, built into a card. It's a card. It's a Christmas card and it's an advent calendar. Built in. Yeah. With glitter and you just yeah. and you got like bells behind it. Way before you got all these chocolates. I just love these little back streets of Beverly, don't you? It just, it's like a mini York. Yeah, it's mini York. I just love it. Without the crowds. Yeah, I mean it's Saturday today and it's just so quiet everywhere. It's beautiful. So we're just walking down that street where we're just filming and we just noticed this pub. We've walked past it hundreds of times. We saw it on the sign. Yeah, we saw it on the sign. It's been here like hundreds and hundreds of years. We thought we'd come and have a look and look where we're sat. Right next to the fire. Look at this right. There used to be an upstairs and some of the things are still on the wall but they've taken the floorboards off and you've still got the original beams but that is like an upstairs area that's now been derelict and we're just, we're just downstairs looking up through the beams. We were so giddy when we saw it. Fire. Just put some more logs and uh, coal on the fire. And I've just, just looked up a little bit of history on this place. So it dates back to 1270, 753 years ago. And I was just messaging our friend Stacey and just saying, while people were having their first pints here, America hadn't even been founded. Like modern America hadn't even been founded. I found that absolutely amazing. The Monk's Walk. If you want to look this place up. Why is it called that? I didn't look that bit up. Monks must have walked in front of it or something down to the Minster, maybe. Maybe. Just have a little mosey around the um, market. Not Christmas market, it's just the no, normal No, just the normal market. market. Ooh. So wreaths there, though. Ooh, sweet shop. Sweet. Should we get some nougat or nougat? Do we think we've got enough sweets? Well, Thanks to true. Tracy that and Neil, yeah. we've got loads. We brought lots of with <laughs> Bloody hell, look at the size of that bag. Oh. 50 quid. <laughs> My god. Imagine getting that as a Christmas collection <laughs> box. A sack of jelly. <laughs> right, we're back in the lodge and uh, we're just uh, having some of these mince pies which Tracy and Neil kindly bought. Um, we're having, well, this, these small ones are Christmas um, spiced flapjack flavour and these Waitrose crumble top mince pies with cranberry orange. How thick that is. Wow. So that is um, gingerbread, but it's got alcohol in it as well. 
We've also got um, just a brandy cream one. I think we're all going to try this um, extra thick gingerbread cream. Right, it's a little while later. The Disney wives have arrived. They're all having a chit chat over there with Neil and Tracy. And uh, we're in the um, kitchen. Making tartar filet. Making tartar filet for everyone. So we're, just putting, we're not doing the bacon one, we're doing the chorizo with um, onion. We couldn't find the right Roblox chin cheese, so we're using portsula, which is very similar. Single cream chives, some extra cheese just to give it an extra cheesy flavour, and then um, we're actually going to turn the oven on for the first time in God knows how because we're going to cook it in the oven. Mm. So I'm just doing the uh, onions and chorizo. And, and we're uh, doing the steak strips and seasoned fries after this is cooked. Going up here. These are just like. Keep me going. Right, I made a little bit different this time. I've put chives in, a bit of parmesan, some extra mature cheddar, some chorizo. I'm gonna put the potatoes in, then I'm gonna put the portsula on top, and then I'm gonna pour the fresh cream on, and then put another layer of cheese on top to crisp it up. It'll be the nicest tartar filet you've ever tasted. Fingers crossed. Right, one layer of potatoes are on, the rest of the chorizo and the uh, onion are going in. Um, I will say that this um, chorizo is a little bit spicy. Very spicy. Very, very spicy. And you only get the, the German one, but. Tesla only have this, but um, right, so next thing we put the uh, the cheese on. I would talk, but I've got a pot scratching me gone. You can hear it grunching your teeth. Let's get that put on. As I said, we couldn't get the right cheese, so we had to make do with a, like a creamy cheese. And then we need another layer of potatoes on top. Spread that out. And then we're going to pour on a full tub of mm, single, single cream. cream on top what, of that. what about the filled out here? I'm not going to need it. All right. Okay. Right, full tub of single cream goes in. My fingers are all greasy. Hold on. Making me giddy. I wonder if the girls are like this. It's just cheese and potatoes with sausage. Disney wives, come and have a look at this, see what you think. In fact, Neil, well, Neil's seen it before, hasn't he? And he, I don't think he's keen. I don't think Neil will be impressed. Ooh. Cheese, potatoes, uh, chorizo, onions, and a little bit more cheese to brown it on top. I mean, I don't really like cheese too much, but, <laughs> but I'm going to give it a go. Just imagine it's a pizza. I'm gonna give it a go. Might no, all that's to cook and all that cheese will just melt into a lack of beef. Don't worry, there's a steak, steak and fries, so don't that's worry. It. I think this might make me like cheese. Just to give it a bit of colour. What, what, you like cheese? And a bit of decor. You have cheese sandwich once There again. we go. Professional. Tartar filet. Hey. Now it's guys style. In the oven. Dinner is served. We have steak strips. Medium rare and medium well. We have tartar filet with sprinkled chives, seasoned fries and a bottle of Aston just for Tracy. Right, we've had our um, meal and um, we've got the choice of a lot, lots of desserts thanks to uh, Tracy and Neil. I'm thinking jicky. Jicky. Jicky? Sticky. Ginger. Ginger. Sticky toffee pudding or something like that, wasn't it? I can't remember. It's custard. Yeah. Custard. But I need to wait half an hour because I'm a bit stuck. I'm a bit stuffed actually. Like We've all got the same um, pyjamas on. It kind of happened randomly. We all bought them separately and all sent photos of ourselves in them and we're like, well, we've got them, we've got them, we've got them. So we said, we'll just bring them all in. You know what we have done this year? Something that people have been asking for. We haven't done. And we haven't done it for two years, actually. So we're going to do it tonight. Can you guess what it is? Comments of the day. Let's do it.
I'm knackered. It's time for pudding anyway. There you so. go. Comments of the day, Dan's done once this vlogmas. So we're gonna do some comments now. Right, so thank you one. for commenting on all our videos. Much appreciated. Read every single one. We try to reply to as many as we can. Right, first one says from Paula Washington. She says, are those Grinch pajamas? Absolutely love them. Merry Vlogmas Lodge guys, love you too. Presume she means that Monkey and Mash were wearing, uh, yes, if that was what you meant, yes, they are Grinch pajamas. I think that was on a, on a com uh, community post, so not everybody's gonna see that. But. Primark. Um, the next one, it says, oh my God, they serve veal. And that was from uh, Liam, Lian Wayner. I think that was somewhere in Disneyland Paris. Oh yeah. It? I don't know Right, where. scroll, stop. And um, this one is from Mark, B. Owen, and it says, uh, we were out there at the same time, can't, can't believe we missed you. Might have walked past you. Maybe. Um, or maybe bit, they'll walk past us. You're a bit knackered there. Knackered? <sighs> um, let's have a quick look at this one. Uh, Stephen Pluff, another great video. Every one of you are having such fun and creating wonderful memories stretched out on my sofa watching you, watching because I caught a cold on Thanksgiving Day. Never mind, you'll get better soon. Hope you feel better now. Uh, one more, hold on. And um, this is from Diane Price. She says, hi guys. Uh, hi guys and family. Great to see you all having an amazing time and thanks for sharing your trip. Thanks one more, I promise, one more. This one is from, stop. And it's stop. from um, Team Taylor Adventure. And says, best thing about being a parent or auntie and uncle is getting to kids on roll getting kids on roller coasters. I remember trying to hide the fact that the RRC in Florida goes upside down from my eight-year-old. We nearly managed it well until her family in the queue were discussing how many times it went upside down. We still managed to get him on though. Does great. Does um, Cafe Agrabah have beige food? Beige, like yeah, as like food? chicken nuggets, Mickey, Mickey. Mickey Waffle for I've got a flat. fussy nugget and chips and a chip eater. Yeah, we've got two of them. Well, our nieces are quite fussy and they, they enjoyed it. They managed on the desserts. Yeah. So, thank you for your comments, guys. Uh, we're going to go and have a rest now. Right, it's the next day. We had fun last night. Um, I went to bed a little bit drunk on um, that much gin. It's been a while since I've had gin. Yeah. You were drunk last night. A little bit. We Not must drunk. have been drunk because we slept until 8am yeah, this morning. Yeah, I wasn't drunk, but because I've not had gin for a while, I, I could tell, like... You were tipsy. I'm, not... No, I could you were drunk. I just knew. Anyway, um, Emma had to get up at 3 a.m. for work. Glad, I mean, we didn't even go to bed Vicky, till like 12. Vicky. Uh, Vicky, we didn't even have to go to bed till, what, it like 11, something like that? Yeah, and she were up at 3. Yeah. Um, right, so we're going to have festive fish and chips now. I don't know what's festive about them, but. Uh, Tracy's really looking forward. She just, that was one of her bucket list items, wasn't it, Tracy? Yeah, fish and tea. So we're off to go to um, a. a we, there's, the nice one doesn't do sit down. And because it's quite cold outside, it's like four degrees at the minute, we're gonna to go to another fish and chip restaurant that do have a, like a sitting area. Uh, we can do the Whiteheads one, can't we though? Because that's the sitting. But whether the restaurant's open during the day, I don't know. Mm, maybe not, yeah. But we're gonna to go to another one uh, in the nearest village. We've got some Amazon parcels to pick up as well. Uh, we've just got a HelloFresh as well, which we didn't even know that we'd ordered and it's just turned up. And, um, and then these guys are getting off and I'm back on the van this afternoon doing some painting. Whenever we have to parallel park anywhere, I just let Nick do it. I was driving, but uh, it is quite a big space, but uh, I'm not a great parallel parker, but we need to get a bit closer. The car is filthy, needs a wash. There we go. And then we're going to Whitehead's Fish and Chip Shop, which is just there. This is the one that got voted the best fish and chip shop in the UK for 2023. So uh, we're hoping it's gonna be good. Nana's got his tea. Look, look. You got your white slice. These Nanas have got the tea. Well, I'm, I'm not commenting on them, I'm just commenting on the else. We've got white sliced bread. Um, and unfortunately, Tracy can't have a uh, fish butter this time. She'll have to have white sliced bread and, and uh, fish. Well, you can make it in your thing. Oh, we are having the OAP option though, the light bites. Yeah, but we've had them before here, the light bites, and they usually come very yeah. large. These are our light bites. They're bleeding massive just for light bites, covered in uh, curry sauce. You don't like curry sauce, Neil? Um, don't want it. You don't want it. Mm. Tracy's stuck on his fish. She wants his fish. It's got more batter on it. Yeah. All this. Yeah. All the batter on top. You want that, Tracy? You might as well though. Our fault. Yeah. Like vinegar on my chips. So we had the fish and chips, which felt really stuffed. We've had no dinner. We've just had like a cup of tea and a biscuit since we got back, and we've just been chilling really. I got some oh, new lights because our branch lights failed and i got some copper lights from amazon some base plug based ones they're a little bit bright 
you can't really see it there, but if I get closer, the lens will adjust and you can see them. They're very bright. So after Christmas, when the plant goes back, we may put them on the plant and then the plant one on that because there's a lot less of them. Um, Lee's just been um, on the treadmill doing his um, daily walk. Catching up on anything. I've been watching Practical Magic. Absolutely love that film. And we're just chilling. I went out to the van and I ironed on a bit of um, oak strip onto the edge of the fixed seat just so it's got a nice finish on it. It just needs now to be painted again. Tomorrow, we're back on the van again. We are conscious that we've had like a weekend off and done bugger all on it. So we have to try and get that final door built and then it's just decorations then. And then um, what are we gonna do with all that wood that's left? Well, my dad that might take some of those sticks into Well, he needs a big van if he's gonna take it. Um, then we're gonna, the blind that I ordered for the kitchen window has still not been shipped yet, should ship tomorrow hopefully, and then that will be here later on this week. And then we've gotta decide what we're doing for the rest of the windows and the decor and the flooring. And it'll be all the nice things that Lee likes doing then, like shopping around and saying this'll go and that'll go, that kind of thing. Well, we think we've found, kind of found everything really. Haven't we? we haven't found the floor, not yet. Well, no, we we need, just need something, need wherever we go, we need to go somewhere with the measurement and pick it up there and then. We don't wanna be ordering it, we just want like an off cut or something. Um, so we're going to go to Boys in Bridlington and um, see what they've got. And if not, we'll just go to a, like a carpet shop that has a lot of offcuts. Yeah, there's lots of carpet shops around uh, locally, so we'll just yeah. go to one of them. Um, so. And then what? Then we've got the other blinds and the curtains. We're going to put a pole, curtain pole up at the back, we think. Yeah. We need to get the mattress out of the back bedroom and put that in the van and get that um, in there and, and out the way. And then we can start tidying the lodge up and getting some of the tools back to the apartment. Yes, and then... Um, Obviously, in January, we have to leave the lodge and we're going back to the apartment. Yeah. Um, so. We have said that we may, like, come over here and stay in a Premier Inn. What is that mark on the window up there? I can't see a mark. Top corner. I can't see a mark from here. You can't see that? A big, a big mark on the top corner of that wind frame? No. Anyway. I'll show everybody on the vlog so Lee knows I'm not see from here. senile. Right there, there, in the corner, right there. It must be from where you're sat, I can't see a thing from here. Well, bloody camera can see it. Oh, you mean that shadow? Is that what it is? Right there, in the corner. Oh, it's either shadow or wet. Or a wet patch. patch. You best go check. Oh, Christ. Go and have a look. It's just, it's the, uh, it's the blink camera shadow. So it was just a shadow, and Lee finally saw it. Uh, what were we saying? Oh yeah, so in January, when we are back at the apartment, we've said, if we haven't got the van finished, um, it'll be it'll be in storage then, it won't be at the garage anymore. What we will do is we will come across and maybe book a premiere in, stay for a couple of nights, and just order the things that we need at the apartment, take it all over here, spend two days um, sort of titivating the van and getting the, uh, the interior done, and then when we come back again next year, and the lodge reopens, we will start doing some of the exterior stuff. So um, cleaning it, doing the trims, doing the dashboard, getting all that paint off the dashboard, that kind of stuff. Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? And then at some point we have to decide where our first night is going to be. As maiden voyage. We have to, well, we're going to do, we're going to do, if you look on the app park for nights, it tells you where you well, can park for free. There's, there is somewhere locally in Bridlington that you can pull into lay-by. There's quite a lot of lay-bys actually. We have got actually. some engine work, to, not engine, but under the bonnet work to do as well, haven't we? What do you mean we? Well, not we. Either. Not even the, I can do that. The garage. We're going to take it in. It's got a couple of knocking noises, but he knows what it is. It's a it's a pulley that rattles when he when he. Um, it's the only one that he didn't change when he did the drive belt, so it, that needs to be sorted out. And there's a clank when we go over bumps, which is the tracking something rod something. He did tell me that they they have some play in it, so we need to get them fixed. And then we need to look at camper tires and getting some tires that can fit more pressure because obviously there's more weight in the back it's constantly under a, a heavy load it needs the support on the tires and apparently they make it for our van so we need to sort them out um and then once all that's done we're ready to take it on our trip really and we've said but I think we haven't really got any time scales no, in place we're for this just go locally maybe for a week yep. then come back to the lodge and be like yeah this needs doing that needs doing this needs doing or maybe hopefully nothing needs doing um and then we'll just take it on a two week trip oh. around the UK, take it to Cornwall, maybe like Cornwall again. I want to go up Scotland. It's cold up there. You need to go in June if you want to go up there. Otherwise, you're going to freeze your ass off. So somewhere south where it's a little bit warmer, maybe April, May time. And then when we're happy that it's survived like a two week trip, what we will do is um, 
book the ferry in Hull, get the um, get the van on the ferry, get over to the Netherlands and start our journey across Europe. Two months. Maybe what we'll do is we'll arrange for your mum and dad to like meet us in Italy. If they want to, yeah. And then we'll spend like a week in Italy mm. and then we'll drive back. That might be a good idea, won't it? Well, they fly back. Yeah. So that is the plan um, next year. And then we'll deal with kind of like Florida and Disneyland Paris as and when we feel like we want to do it between these trips. Yes. Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure that I'd really want to do like the van stuff in the cold. I mean, I went out there mm, tonight. Be such a... All right. Shall I take you out there? You yeah, would have a, it's a, a like, heater on. It's Baltic in there at the minute. It would take an hour to warm the metal up to stop mm, it from no, cooling no, down I again. Like it. Heater on, cup of tea, all warm and cosy, hot chocolates, <laughs> Christmas lights. You've been watching too many Instagram <laughs> stories. That's the problem. Harry Potter on the TV. Projector. 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 Nah, it's part of the fun and adventure of van life. Right. Yeah. Till you've got to use the toilet. Number two at three a.m. Well, yeah, but that doesn't matter whether it's cold or hot. Still got to do that. Yeah, but when it's freezing cold, there'll be there'll be lots of things that we have to learn when we're doing like the van in terms of getting the temperature right because the the fans in the ceiling have got like gaps in them to let the air in, so that's going to let allow the heat when it's warmed up. Even in like summer nights, the heat's going to bleed away fast. When we were on the camper van trip with the kids, it was cold in the night. Can you remember? The temperature proper dropped, and that was summer. Mm. So imagine staying in it when it's actually not summer. It's all fun and games. Yeah. So uh, that's all next year's experience that we're looking forward to. We do have to sit down and do like a map of where we want to go first. We've not started any of the research. The focus at the minute is getting the van finished. But um, we kind of know where we want to go, but we just need some places. Um, what we might do is put on our Facebook group... Um, and ask for ideas like we did when we did the road trip last year. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people suggested a lot of places and we did research based on some of the suggestions like Bodhi and things like that. So we may ask you guys for your input. Um, Let so, us know in the comments below. Yeah, so if you are if you are on Facebook, then join our Facebook group. There's two. There's one for Orlando. There's one for just the Lodge guys. Uh, join on there. There's a lot of information gets shared by some of the, some of the members on that community. But um, that's where we'll be asking. So, uh, cup of tea. Well, then. Good morning, welcome to Monday. And yes, it is Monday morning. All the lights are on <laughs> because it feels like evening. It's um, slashing it down. And um, I think we're in for some wintry weather, aren't we? Yes, I've got to show you. Go on then, come, yes. come and show me. I can't, I can show you. That's gonna be our European route. Wait a minute, there we go. So we'll put this on the screen so you can see it properly, but start there in Hull, grow across to the Netherlands, straight down through Germany, through the Swiss and Austrian border, down the right side of Italy, all the way down, back up the other side, all along the French Riviera bottom, round there, into Spain, Barcelona, straight across country into Portugal, up the other side, all the way up the west coast of France to Bordeaux, across to Disneyland Paris, up to Belgium, back again, and on the Eurotunnel. I need to change the battery. How long do you think that will take? Two minutes. Quick battery change there, the battery is going about to die. Um, I don't know, two, three months maybe? Three two months. months? Well, we can't stay more than no, 90 no, days. No, no, you can only stay 90 days. So, um, I reckon two, two months. months for that. Well, we'll just have to make it be two months. Yeah, but that's a lot less driving than America than we did. And we did America in 28, 27 days, didn't we? And the beauty of it will be... We don't have to pack. No packing <laughs> and no like moving into different hotels or motels. And how many times we break down? Well, yeah, there's that. We, have, we will have European road cover. <laughs> yeah. But we do it now anyway, but... Yeah, so... Um, it scares me a bit, doesn't it, you? Well, no, not really. It excites me. Well, it does me, but it's also the... Uh, the something different. So... we have many adventures. It is Lots Monday morning. It's raining. We're planning on doing some van work today, so we're going to get very wet. We'll have to put coats and hoods and umbrellas on. Fingers crossed. The physical build completes today and mm. then it's all decors and trims and things like that everything then is inside the van until after christmas where we do the tidying of the outside of the van um and do that the plastic trims and those kind of things so so um as nick mentioned earlier we got hello fresh yesterday and um i, I haven't even looked i ordered an extra of what the, let, me, let me show you come here, come here i ordered an extra as a special surprise so that's the first one. Let's have a look at it. Which we yeah. might have tonight. Chezwan chicken stir fry, yeah. 
Coconut dal. Oh yeah, that was, but that's nice. Chickpea dal might give you a bit of wind. Creamy pesto and potato gratin. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, this is not an under 600 calories one, this one. Oh, neither is that one. What's it? Parma ham pasta oh, and yeah. creamy garlic sauce. It's all like, kind of comf like ravioli. comforty, um, sort winter of creams. winter cosy kind of uh, I'm looking cool, forward to that it? one. Thai green style chicken thigh curry, yes. And this one is a, an extra. We don't oh, usually not... order extras, do we? But we thought we'd we just... thought, with it being Christmas, we'd order a charcuterie board. Italian style charcuterie board. What was it that That's you didn't like the, the look of? And it looks like an egg. Oh, yeah, but it's not Yeah, but when you, when you feel it in the bag, it's like a bag of giblets. In fact... That's cheese. Wait a minute. Is it oh, I bet you've got to milk it yourself. I bet you've got to make it yourself, you know. Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, it doesn't say that. But what the hell do you do with that? Because that's just like a bag of milk. Unless uh, it's popped. Wait a minute, there are hard lumps in it. I reckon it's popped. Yeah. Put it back in the fridge for now. And we'll look looking forward to that bit anyway, but we'll just get it. Well, we'll get some Philadelphia. We have got instead. some other cheese. Um, so there we go. Our extra, the charcuterie board. And um, something else we got yesterday as well. You might have noticed we don't have, or we didn't have an advent calendar so far this Vlogmas. We would, we decided not to get one, to be honest. Um, just because obviously we film it in advance, so it gets a bit confusing for us when we're opening an advent calendar in advance. We're going to save this for actual uh, Christmas for us. Um, our friend Susan sent us that. She's like, we've sent, we've sent you somewhere. Um, go and collect it from this pickup point. And uh, we got it, and it was this. So it's 24 chocolate squares containing um, um, like liqueurs. And then we've got a, um, a Baileys in the middle for um, Christmas Eve. So there we go. Uh, well, are we going to share that? Well, yeah, we'll have to do With the hot chocolate? Yeah. So, uh, there we go. Our one and only advent calendar this year. Yes. I, I do I... wish we had one of those advents that we had when I was a kid, where you could get, like, the glitter ones okay, and the little... Then... I know, but the... yeah, we... didn't we try one year on Vlogmas? Ordered it from Amazon and it was a crappy one. No, I don't think so. You can get them on Amazon. I know. I'm sure we did one year. I'm sure we did. Why don't you get one? Nah. Nah. We've okay, got that we've one been now. with chocolates. <laughs> um, oh, another thing I got is an art as well. Because it's, it's been Black Friday um, recently, so uh, we always do our purchasing on Black Friday and get a, a few bits and bats. Um, I got an Amazon Luna um, controller. Um, it connects to Wi Fi and it you can stream games through your. Um, your Fire TV, wherever you are, so I can play games without a console, because I recently got rid of my Switch. Um, so I was playing like Devil May Cry and stuff last night, and um, you were saying it would look, what did you say it looked like? Um, Starship Troopers. Um, and then if you get bored of your TV or you need to go into another room with a Fire Stick, it just, it works and, and picks up where you left off. It's very good anyway. Anyway, I got something for the van. This turned up. Uh, I've actually got two black ones coming from Amazon Italy. It's quite good actually. If you've got, um, if you're trying to find something and it's not on Amazon UK, in the app, go to the bottom of the uh, settings menu and switch your language to like Italian, French, or or um, German or whatever. Don't start. And it lets you access a load of products in those countries. And hold the camera straight. And it will actually ship to the UK I'm for about go four. Go on. Then. It will actually ship to the UK for about four dollars. So instead of putting those big, massive, chunky dimmers that we bought from eBay and Amazon for the lights in the van, the top and bottom, I've got two black ones of these, which is what we put on the wall with the, the, the bed inlets. And all you do is you literally just tap it. So we're gonna put one kind of down the side of the cupboard and one up, up, and up above the cupboard. So when we're wanting to put the lights on, we just touch it, you won't even see it. And But I didn't want the cream ones with the dark green um, cupboards. So I've got a black, two black ones coming. So they should be here in the next few days. Also, as well, we have the table stand, which is coming from China. Oh, yeah, up that. Me too. It's still in bloody Shanghai, last time I looked. 22nd of uh, November is the last time it updated, um, which is freaking ages ago. And what else we got coming? We got some new side lights for the van because the lens on it doesn't clip on. Uh, it's all van stuff that I order. And what else? Oh, we've got fabric samples coming. Got I them from Dunham Mills and from blog. another website. Um, well, we, really we ordered cheap. some free samples from a website. Ah, we didn't look at foam thicknesses. Oh, well. We ordered some um, samples from a, a website and they were very expensive. £40 well, pound a square metre. were expensive, but if you buy them. And then we saw that in Dunham Mills. Exactly the same. £10 per square metre. Yeah. And we're like, oh, 
So, bargain. So we're hoping that's going to turn up. That's going to Lee's mum's. Um, so we'll either get that before Christmas or when we go over or they come over here, whichever. What else? Um... So the final job today is to finish the side door, the sliding door, which we have not been looking forward to. And well, if we can get that done today, okay. that means the physical build, as in the structural stuff, is now really? complete on the van. Yeah. Well, it's, we, the door's got to be shut to be able to do that. I've got a bit of admin work to do before. It'll just know. mean you running through the little hatch back and forward. Got to finish this end of this vlog, and I've got a bit of admin work to do. Like what? Well, um, I've got an appointment to cancel. Reschedule. Well, Stace is here. Reschedule. Uh, yeah, reschedule. And um, I'm going to email the hospice where Nick's mum um, was in. If you saw our lockdown videos, we bought this um, tree again. Exactly the same exactly tree. Exactly the same tree for the apartment. And we used it once. And um, and then Lee wanted pencil pines. Well, we thought With we, a three meter did, ceiling. I, I knew it was too big for apartment. No, you didn't. We, You've been we, saying that about this tree since we bought it. We got the table and there was no room for the tree ever again. So it's only been used once. And we've been wondering what to do with it, and uh, we thought we'd email the hospice, and I'm going to send him a photo. We've got some brand new baubles that have never been used. Yeah, make sure you tell him it's not come with all the three thousand, yeah, yeah, the four thousand <laughs> lights we've got on this. And I'm just going to see if they want it, and we'll drop. Yeah, it off we'll drop them. it off. When it we... might be a bit late for this year, but they could use it next year. Uh, they might want it. They might not. Want I don't it, know. So. We we'll think we'll be going across there before. Yeah, but they might. I'm sure they've trimmed up already. That's what I mean. They didn't last year. Uh, it was like the second well, week in know. December last year. Well, I don't know. It might be, if not, they can use it for next year. But they might not yeah. want it, but I can just ask them anyway. And we'll drop it off um, for them. Yeah. So, we're going to finish the vlog. Hopefully it stops raining and then uh, we can get on to some van work. So thanks for watching. We're going to get on to the van work whether it stops raining or not. We've got like to do it. And click the notification bell. Drop us a comment below. Scan the QR code if, you don't, if you're on a TV and you're watching and you want to subscribe. Just, hold your, comment below. just hold your phone up, open your camera and it'll pop up a little box. Click on it, it'll take you straight to YouTube to the subscribe button. It's totally free. As Lee said, drop a comment below. Uh, we read all Let comments. Let us know how your December's going and what Christmas things you've been up to. Yep, and I'm about to put a map, the map that we just showed you, onto our Facebook group for ideas of places to call on that route. So if you do see that, um, have a look at it. Let us know some recommendations. Drop some pictures in of places that you've visited. Um, and if you're not joining our Facebook group, have a look at it. The Lodge Guys group or the Lodge Guys Orlando group. And we will see you on the next vlog. The next vlog. Bye. Bye. Bye.